Okay, uh, hello everyone. Um, I just wanted to uh, give a quick uh, video demonstration of the focuser I've designed for my scope. I've never done a video demonstration before, so this is probably going to be shocking. However, here we go. Um, yeah, so it's a ASCOM compliant uh, focuser box um, using a stepper motor um, and with, with, a, with a manual scope side. Um, adjustment as well so you can you can you don't have to have a computer connection you can just use a manual focus if you want uh, let's have a look in the box My pencil so it's based around a microchip pic 18f 4455 um, there are plenty of other picks around that will do the job I just use this one because I, I had some um, and uh, it's based on a little PIC development card, um, which is a prototyping area on the on the on the, on one side. So I've added a voltage regulator and a Darlington driver for the motor. Um, I've this chip here is the um, RS232 driver. I, I'm not using that. I've removed the RS232 socket, so that's essentially redundant. I've disconnected the power for it. Um, this development card has got a USB socket built in. Um, and also a PIC, standard PIC programming socket, socket. Uh, and this socket in the centre is for um, the manual focus controller. There's an LED above the uh, USB socket indicating status, i.e. whether it's connected or disconnected. Um, there's a LED above the manual control socket which indicates uh, whether you're in manual focus mode or rate change mode, so you can change the rate the manual focus applies and then there are two LEDs on the end which indicate whether you're focusing in or out or left or right or whatever you want to call it. Alright so uh, I'll initially connect it without a USB connection to show the manual manual focus control. So uh, right here we go. <coughs> oh. This is the Little motor. Uh, it's a four-phase stepper motor with a 64 reduction gearbox connected to it. So it's a nice little motor. It's only five volts. It's small and very light. Uh, this is the manual focus controller, um, separated from the the box, so that uh, to minimise the amount of uh, scope vibration when if operating in manual focus mode it's quite got quite a tactile little uh, multi-turn uh, two bit encoder grey code encoder with a centre button switch so we connect that and the motor and give it some power Power is 12 volt. Okay, so uh, you notice that the LED above the uh, USB socket is illuminated, indicating that it's in disconnected state. Um, so in this mode, rotating the manual focuser, we've got manual focus control at the default rate. At the moment, it defaults to a particular rate. I, I, I'll, I'm going to. I'll enhance it so it stores the rate in, a, in the onboard E squared prom so whichever rate it's left at it will power up to at the moment it just powers up to a arbitrary rate if I hit the center button the uh, LED comes on indicating that we've gone into rate change mode or rate adjust mode so if I turn this say three turns uh, anti-clockwise then back into normal mode or focus mode notice that the, the step size on the motor is now significantly larger I mean, this is all at the moment fairly arbitrary it can all be changed in software when I get it on the scope I'll probably make some fine adjustments I've just picked some arbitrary numbers for the moment so that's manual 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 mode can be used whether it's connected to the PC or not it's all it's either or both okay well we're connected to the PC 
And you'll notice that the uh, status light now extinguishes, uh, indicating that the USB is in connected state. Let's swing this round a little bit. Sorry for the vibration. It's going to be a little bit difficult. I'm not sure how clear it's going to be on this laptop. Probably not very. Okay, I'm using, um, as I say, it's ASCOM compliant, so I have a uh, I've used a little uh, the uh, mask grabber that's uh, free and available on online as a demonstration tool. So that's the software invoked, and then I can choose from the ASCOM chooser. It's got all the usual usual suspects on there, and uh, at the bottom is the Sharp Star Focuser uh, driver that I installed on the laptop a bit earlier. So we select that, it's got the usual properties, box, uh, max step, max increment, uh, step size, ok that, ok the driver. So now uh, we're under PC or manual control, I'm not sure how, we're, uh, if I hit the right button on the GUI, it's at the moment set to, set it to 100 steps, hit the right button, and the right button again. And again, and then left, and then left again, uh, and then we say reduce the steps to 10. And right button, right, I don't know if you can see that, it's just moving, what I maybe 4 or 5 mil, and back in the opposite direction. So this, we make the step size very large, say 200. Hit right, again, left, and again. And if you notice, we still have manual focus control as well. Okay, um, well, that's about it, really. Um, hope you like it. If anybody's got any questions or... Uh, can think of any improvements I'm sure people can then um, give me a shout um, it's not it's the first pass so um, I'm sure there's plenty of things I can do that will make it better um, I'm all ears anyway thanks for watching cheers